Artesia Radio Show. Kat Davis joins us. Good morning, Kat. Good morning. How are you doing? Hey, we are uh, enjoying the day. It's not going to be 173 degrees today. <laughs> so <laughs> I know. It's, it's looking cloudy down here in Carlsbad, too. So we, we like to see that. Yeah. Well, we're getting to the time of the year uh, into late June, July, that folks that do have crops that are growing things probably have enough ready to go to take them out and sell them. And I know we want to talk about the uh, Farmers and Makers Market that resumes this year in Carlsbad. You had the first one last week, is that correct? We did. We actually started on the 16th. We had our first third Thursday, and then, yes, we had our, our regular market last week. Okay. And how did how did everything go? Did you find some really nice produce out there? Yes, we're actually, after this rainfall we just had this past weekend, we're hoping to see a lot more of it because we knew that some of our farmers w weren't ready just yet. Usually around July, our next coming weeks, we should have a lot more produce out there. Well, good. Now, you mentioned, uh, did you say the third Thursday? You mentioned... Um, uh, yes. Okay. So, on the, on the third Thursday of the month, we kind of make our market more event style. Mm -hmm. um, so last for our last third Thursday, we had the Runyon Ranch Petting Zoo down here. We had bounce houses on the courthouse lawn for everybody to enjoy. This coming month, um, our next one will be July 21st. We're actually going to have a foam party <laughs> uh, out uh, on the courthouse lawn. Did you say foam? As, like, I did. F-O-A-M? -F 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 like, uh, yes. oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's going to be interesting. We haven't done it before, but there's a new company uh, to the area that has been started doing events, so we're looking forward to trying it out. And the, the theme is all about art for July, so we are inviting even, you know, if we have some folks from Artesia that want to come down and if they have demonstrations or art displays they want to do. Last year, we actually did a chalk mural on our intersection. It was a little bit hot. <laughs> we're, we're not planning to do that again this year, but hey, that's when the foam can cool them down. <laughs> well, that's right. So, uh, are there things that you run through, ride through, jump in? Uh, what what have you seen uh, or what can we expect with, with the foam uh, part of the festivities? Yeah, it's more just a run through, jump through, okay. I guess. Um, okay. I actually, I haven't seen it in action yet myself. I've seen some videos and it looks pretty cool, so we're excited for it. Well, they're, they're probably going to make you the first one to go through it, right? <laughs> hey, I'll get the excuse that I'm working. So. <laughs> can't can't <laughs> that, get the phone wet. Someone can't, else is going to need me. Yeah, yes, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, can't get the phone wet. Got to protect the phone, so. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's cool. Where do all these activities take place? Is this around the courthouse uh, uh, lawn there in downtown Carlsbad or just kind of in the downtown area? Yes, centrally we use the lawn. So for our regular every Thursday farmer's market, all of our um, vendors, they set up actually on the courthouse lawn. So that's really good. We have lots of trees, of course, good shade. And then on the third Thursdays, we do shut a couple of our streets down. So we actually have the vendors set up in the streets. And then that's because we kind of use the lawn for activities such as like last time we had the petting zoo and the bounce houses. We'll have the foam party this time. And we're not sure what we'll have next for August, but we will have uh, August 3rd Thursday on the 18th and then our last 3rd Thursday will be on September 15th. Okay, so you've got three more exciting events uh, coming mm -hmm. up, but the, the foam, uh, that just sounds really crazy. I <laughs> you, might have to, you might have to make a trip down to yeah. see it for yourself. <laughs> I wonder what it tastes like because I'm sure at some point oh, in time yeah. you're going <laughs> to get it in your face. Someone's yeah. going to taste it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it'll taste like cotton candy or uh, Maybe. So, something like that. <laughs> but uh, that, That'll be a lot of fun. Um, well, that's that's great. Uh, so the next event is the the next Farmers and Makers Market, which will be tomorrow night. What time uh, does everybody get set up and are they ready for, for folks to come shopping? So the hours, they are, it's from 530 to 730 p.m. So we do it in the evening. Um, but honestly, a lot of our vendors are usually set up and ready to go by 5 o'clock. Um, mm -hmm. So you can kind of come down. They start setting up from 4 p.m. onwards. 
Sometimes we stay till eight. Uh, kind of just depends on on how everybody's doing. If uh, we always have a local food truck and entertainment, so it's always a nice evening to just come for a stroll downtown. Even if you don't want to buy anything, you can come sit on the lawn, listen to some free music, check out a food truck. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, they're all, they're always fun evenings down here. Well, I noticed the name Makers is in the in the name too. It's not just the farmers market, but the Makers market. So talk about the Makers aspect of uh, of your market. So we kind of last year, uh, the year coming out of COVID. So prior to COVID, we were kind of a strictly downtown farmers market. Mm-hmm. But we kind of decided to change it up a bit because honestly, people, a lot of the farmers kind of just grow from for themselves and don't always have extra to come out and sell to others but we wanted to also offer a outlet and a venue for a lot of our like local crafters you know i'm sure you saw on your facebook throughout throughout covid that people took up different hobbies and Mm -hmm. you know made different ways to keep busy but also to earn a living so we decided to open up our market to also include, um, you know, anybody who makes handmade crafts, different items. We have like wood makers out there. We've had glass, stained glass artists. We've had people selling soap, jewelry, all of those different things. And thankfully, the um, the F- New Mexico Farmers Market Association was also lenient with that because. Also, like the north, we don't we have a tougher climate to deal with. <laughs> sure, oh <laughs> for yeah. Our but, farmers to always have produce, so yeah. it was a really good way to kind of open it up a little bit while still falling in the like general farmers market guidelines. So it's a really it's a really good mix. Yeah. So is there, is there do do people that yeah. want to vend whether it's a farmer or a maker do they have to commit to the whole summer or can they? No, that's the the beauty of it. They can, and that's also what makes it interesting for people. You know, we have locals that will come every Thursday, if not every other week, because they know it's always going to be something different. Um, We do, if you want to sign up for the season, we do have like a season discount, I guess. Um, But you are more than welcome to come just set up on a Thursday, pay it's just ten dollars so just pay that and then never come again or (laughs) you know we'd love to see you back but you definitely you don't have to commit to the whole whole season yeah and it is is 16 weeks so that can that could be tough for some people but we do we do have our regulars that are out there every thursday which is great as well i bet i bet you get a lot of a lot of requests and uh so so far this year what are some of the to you some of the more interesting things that you've seen uh folks that have brought out for the for the market hmm. this year we've had honestly it's been um probably one of the most interesting things i've seen mm-hmm. is uh we have a vendor that makes her own like homemade simple syrup oh wow and i'm not sure if you are a cocktail drinker but I am. <laughs> so she she has a bunch of different flavors, and they're just kind of smaller sizes because, you know, it's kind of a concentrated um, thing. But I thought that that was really cool. That's one that we definitely have never seen before. Yeah. But we have people, you know, that sell homemade tortillas, salsas, loaves of bread, kind of sweet bread. We have a bakery that comes and sets up out here with different pies. Oh wow! Um, so there's definitely a lot of a lot of food to keep people to keep people coming back. Sure. Well, you said pies. That's uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I should have started with pies, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, there's there's always the favorites. I mean, apple pie, cherry pie, but then you get into mm-hmm. uh, some different flavors. And um, um, being from the Midwest. Uh, every so often, I'll see somebody has a rhubarb pie. And oh, I love rhubarb pie. Yeah. yeah you that, don't see it very often, but that, when you do, it, it's it's pretty good. That's right. That's right. It's, it's a little unusual in this part of the country. And rhubarb, people go, what are you mm-hmm. talking about? You know, and of course, <laughs> of course, we had it grown wild in the backyard, so it was easy for yeah. us to, to, to have it there. So, there, so yeah, there's baked goods, there's pies, there's the, uh, the, the craft items, and... Um, 
And then, like you said, you've got different musical entertainment. Do you know who's uh, lined up, uh, who's going to be uh, playing tomorrow? Uh, anybody in particular? So tomorrow, I have to look, but I know for our next Third Thursday, we're super excited to have him back. He actually kicked off our Third Thursdays last year. It's going to be C.W. Aon from Las Cruces. Who, uh-huh. If you haven't heard him before, he plays some really cool blues, style music uh-huh. um, super engaging and then last for our last third Thursday we had Robin Scott out here who's another great he's from Roswell super great artist mm-hmm. um, so yeah we, we definitely try to mix it up a lot last Good. week we had uh, Charlie Ingram who's a Carlsbad local but now plays out in Lubbock so we were super happy to have him back so yeah there's always always something different that's that is fantastic and uh uh, like you said, it's in the evenings. There's trees. There's shade. Uh, things yes. kind of cool down, and and it's just a great way to just kind of come downtown and walk around and and uh, see what's going on. Now, depending on whether or not the streets are closed, um, is there any particular place people can park or just just find a spot uh, downtown somewhere? So yeah, pretty much. It's it's pretty open after five o'clock here. You know, a lot of the regular businesses are gone for the day um but we always like on our main street just Mm -hmm. one block away from the courthouse there's always an abundance of parking over there so it's pretty it's pretty accessible yeah so come on down and uh, tomorrow's the next uh, farmers and makers market uh, 5 30 p.m uh, down around the courthouse uh, in uh, in Carlsbad. Kat, was there anything else uh, that uh, we need to mention or talk about? You got any other upcoming events that you'd like to have people start thinking about coming up? Um, our next kind of big one that we're going to have downtown will be the Firefighter Combat Challenge. Oh, yeah. Which was pretty, pretty interesting last year. It was our first time in Carlsbad hosting it in our downtown area, but we, we found it to be a really great success and all the competitors loved it so that's going to be on august 26th and 27th um but i will pretty much just say if you follow our carlsbad main street facebook page or check out our website we have a community calendar on there you know we keep up to date about all of our events and things like that so you can you can keep track of those and everything that we have going on excellent excellent well it just sounds like a lot of fun a lot of neat things to do don't let anybody tell you there's nothing to do <laughs> right. <laughs> Cause, cause come, come, come see me, and I will tell them otherwise. <laughs> That's great. I'll show them otherwise even even better. <laughs> That's right. That's right. All right. Well, Kat, Kat Davis, thank you so much for uh, taking time to chat with us today. I'm sure we'll have you on again before the next uh, third Thursday and uh, sure. talk that up again. And is there anything else we need to cover? Anything? Did we forget anything, or did uh, we cover it all? I think we I think we got it all covered. Uh, thanks for having me, Jean. Thank you, Kat, and we'll talk to you again real soon, okay? Okay. All right, thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, 926 uh